Hello, welcome to chapter 11, Forensic Audits, ACCA P7, Advanced Audit and Assurance. Forensic Audits, okay, uh, big picture, what's, what are they, what is this about? The note suggests that it's the examiner's baby, in other words, he rather likes this. Um, when the current syllabus was introduced in around 07, this was the only totally new thing at the time in comparison with the old syllabus. Like any good mother, the examiner's defences of, of, of her children. Um, the, Lisa Weaver is your examiner, so make sure you read the ACC website and keep an up to date on any article she's written. She very much into this particular subject and likes it in the exams. Um, needs to say there was a question on this topic in the pilot paper and it has since appeared in real exams and is likely to continue to do so. It's perhaps one of the few areas in P7 where you can anticipate getting marks for being able to provide suitable definitions. So make sure you um, read definitions. There is an article here, September 2008, I would suggest there are some newer stuff on the student accountant element of the website, ACCA website at www.acca.com make sure you read Lisa's articles. Key terminology, well forensic accounting it, it covers a wide range of investigative work which accountants in practice might be asked to carry out. Work is often but not exclusively related to investigating things like alleged fraudulent activity. Um, it involves the use of accounting, auditing and basic investigative skills, almost like police work. It refers to the whole process of the investigating a financial matter, including potentially acting as an expert witness, which often happens in a court of law and you will be called upon to, to give evidence. That's what forensic accounting is. Forensic investigation, however, um, Forensic investigations is in fact part of forensic accounting and it refers to the practical measures adopted to gather evidence in respect of an alleged fraud and present those findings to the client and perhaps ultimately to a court of law. So forensic investigation is the carrying out of forensic accounting. Forensic auditing refers to specific procedures adopted in order to obtain that evidence and involves the use of audit techniques. Characteristics of good forensic accountant auditors. Okay, so if you want to do this as a career, do you have these sort of skills? You've got to be able to identify a fraud with minimal information. So, if you can get there quickly with the minimum amount of information to gather, great, fantastic. You've got to have a good knowledge of accounting standards. If you don't, then you don't know whether something is right or wrong, then you're going to come on stark. You've got to also have a good knowledge of internal controls, what they look like, how they operate, what good looks like, what bad can look like. Many companies have internal controls, but some of them are completely inappropriate or ineffective. You've got to have a good knowledge of evidence, probably above and beyond, because ultimately it's a very good chance it'll end up in a court of law. Hopefully with an average audit of an average client, that doesn't happen and therefore it never sees the light of day. But in forensic auditing and accounting, it's a good chance to end up in a court of law, so your work will have to be a good standard every time and be subject to scrutiny by lawyers. And the other side, you've got to be able to interpret what you've got. You've got to be able to keep going with your investigative skills and not stop at the first barrier. You've got to knock down and perhaps go round or over or under um, hurdles that are in front of you. You're going to have to interview now in these situations, you're not going to have a client that's going to give you information necessarily. It could be, if it's a fraud, difficult people who know that if found out, they're going to go to court and perhaps imprisonment or fines. 
they're going to be slightly awkward in answering questions. So very much the police the robber type um, situation. It's not what happens in a client audit, a statutory audit process. You've got to be able to report what you find in a certain way and build up probably with a court of law in mind. Clearly your integrity is absolutely crucial because if the other side have any glimpse a chink in your armour about integrity then well your evidence just falls apart and you must remain objective independent throughout the process so you don't see good and bad you don't see one side versus the other you just work for and work through the evidence you've got in front of you okay so that's forensic um, accounting auditor Types of investigations, well, mainly I was taken regarding fraud and amongst the most common being um, around matrimony disputes, partnership disputes, something's gone awry, not quite right, an insurance claim, somebody's overclaimed, um, not the other side needs to defend maybe it needs to up their claim and they want you to act for them and professional negligence claims so whether somebody's been competent or not you might be acting for the prosecution or the defendant types of fraud well there, there are many different types of fraud corruption people taking money is an obvious one stealing money asset misappropriation, it could be money or it could be assets you take from some, a company. Financial statement fraud, in other words you've misrepresented your accounts in some form, shape. Conducting an investigation, well the main stages should be seen as covering. First of all you accept the engagement, agree your terms and conditions like you would a statutory audit. You plan the investigation as you would a statutory audit. You gather evidence as you would for statutory audit. You report your findings, not quite the same as a statutory audit. It's probably more a long, you know, big document with lots of appendices, etc. And ultimately, you probably end up going to court. So, um, slightly again different from an, an audit. Um, but that's forensic accounting. Comes off for often um, but that's the end of that chapter and certainly something new compared to F8